Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you, how to set up a Minecraft server, to be able to play with your friends. It doesn't matter if you are playing on Mac, or on Windows, and it also doesn't matter if you have bought Minecraft, or downloaded T, Launcher, in the end you will be able to play with all of them completely for free. And now, let's get right into it. Open up your web browser, and search for M, C, versions. Click on the first search result, or if you can't find the same website, then click on the first link in my description. On this website we can choose what version our Minecraft server should have. This will be important if you want to play Minecraft on your server with resource packs or mods enabled. Here you can find all of the older versions of Minecraft. I will download Minecraft 1.14.4, because I want to play Minecraft with the Sortex resource pack, which requires this exact version in my case. Make sure to download the server file, with the green download button. Choose your download location and press on save. You can go back to your desktop once the download has completed. Now you will need to create a new folder. I have already made one on my desktop, but you can put it wherever you want. Navigate to your download location, and drag the server.jar file into the new folder. When you are done with it, press, command, plus, space, to open up Spotlight Search, and type in text edit. Press enter to open it up. Now you create a new document. With text edit selected, we navigate to the upper left corner of the screen. Go to format, and press on, make, plain, text. Now, we will need to copy these few lines, that I prepared for the executable file for the server. You can find them in the description under this video. Go to file and press on save or just press command plus s on your keyboard. Rename the document to, start, dot, command, and uncheck the box below. After that find the location of your newly created folder with the server.jar file in it. Please don't delete anything, I just remove my prepared document, which I don't need anymore. Now, open up Spotlight Search again, by pressing on, Command, Plus, Space. This time, we need to open up the terminal. Type in, chmod, space, A plus X and space again. After that drag the command file, that we just created, into the terminal. Make sure that you typed in exactly what I did. Otherwise you will get an error statement. Press enter to execute the line. Doing this, granted us the permissions that we need, to start the Minecraft server. You can double click now on, start.command, to start the Minecraft server. But we are not done yet. First we need to agree to the end user license agreement. To do that, just double click on the eula.txt file and change false into true. Save the file afterwards. After that double click on start.command again. This time you will see the initialization process of the Minecraft server on the terminal. It will create a bunch of new files in your folder and also create a new world. Depending on your hardware, this may take a while. When it finished loading everything up, 
type in stop and press enter to turn off the server for now. You can close all of these terminal windows, we don't need them right now. After that, open up your web browser again. This time, type in Hamachi into the search bar, and click on the first search result. The domain should be vpn.net. If you can't find it, you can just click on the link in my description below. This software will help us to connect us with our friends, by creating a private network. Just press on the download button in the middle of the website. Choose your download location and press on save. Start the installation process by clicking on the downloaded file, which you can find in the bottom left corner of your browser. Double click on log me in Hamachi installer to finally start the installation. To continue you need to agree to the license agreement. Press on install after ticking the box. Right after you need to type in your password that you use to log into your Mac. Press on finish, and press on OK. After that click on the power button that you can see in Harmachi. For this, you and your friends need to create an account if you haven't already. Just press on sign up, and type in your email and password. It's as easy as that. After signing up, we will create a new network, where our friends can join to connect to our Minecraft server. Press on create network. You need to find a unique name for your network ID, because normal words are probably already taken. Make sure to use a strong password with special characters and upper and lower case letters. Just write it down on a piece of paper. I warn you, to only play with family members or your closest friends, because they will have complete access to your network, and you don't want anyone on your network who wants to make damage. So please be aware of that. I recommend to not play with people you met online. For that you can just find a cracked Minecraft server on Google. After creating the network, right click or hold control and click, on the IP address next to the power button on Hamachi. Press on copy I, P, V, 4 address. Open your Minecraft server folder and right click on server.properties. Go to, open with, and press on, other. Then press on applications, scroll down, and click on open with text edit. Now find the line where it says server-ip, and paste in the IP address that we just copied. After that I also recommend to lower the view distance from 10 to 1, you might try to set it higher if you have high speed internet, but I had the problem that when my friend joined his world didn't load up correctly and he couldn't move. Lowering the view distance helped me to fix this problem. Lastly, scroll down, and find the line where it says, online mode true, and set it to false. You don't need to do this if you have the official paid version of Minecraft. Make sure to save the file after you are done modifying the server properties. You can close the server properties file after you are done. Now let's see if our server is working. Open Minecraft, go to multiplayer and add a new server to the list. Paste the IP address that we copied before on Harmachi into the server address input field. Press on done and let's see if it's working. Whoops, I forgot to start the Minecraft server. Go back to your Minecraft server folder and double click on start.command to start the server. On the terminal you can see when it's done loading it up. This might take a while, depending on your hardware specifications. Press on refresh to check if it's working now. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, we got it. It's working.
Oh no, I spawned on a lonely island, with a chicken as my friend. Yikes. There is also not much to see because I lowered the view distance to 1. In the next few steps, I will show you how to download and install a texture pack on your server, to make your experience even better. And on top of that, I will even show you how to download any custom world from your favorite Minecraft YouTuber. First of all we need to type stop into the terminal and press enter to turn off our server. Open up your web browser again and search for Dropbox. Dropbox is a cloud hosting service application that allows you to host files online for free. You can log in with your Google account that you use to log in into YouTube as well. I recommend to download and install the software. It's really easy to do, so I'm not going to show it, because this video is already long enough. We need Dropbox to store your favorite resource pack online. We will create a link, that will automatically download the resource pack for all your friends, when they join in your Minecraft server. After you are done with the installation of Dropbox, you need to choose the resource pack you want. I went with Sortex resource pack because I like it the most. Make sure that resource pack is compatible with your Minecraft server version. My server has the version of 1.14.4, and this resource pack supports the version 1.14. So I am good to go with this. I have already downloaded this pack, so I won't do it again. When you download resource packs online, be aware that these websites have a lot of advertisements that contain viruses. To avoid clicking on these advertisements, I recommend to use the Brave browser or uBlock Origin if you are on Google Chrome. They remove all of these nasty advertisements for you and make the internet a safer place. You also need to make sure that the resource pack that you have downloaded has the file ending of zip. But if it ends with, ra, then you can download this unarchiver app from the app store. Unpack the file in a newly created folder. And then right click on the folder and click on compress to make it into a zip file. If you have finished downloading your resource pack and installed Dropbox on your Mac, then you should be able to find Dropbox in your finder. Open Dropbox on your Mac and drag the resource pack inside it. Then right click on the resource pack file and press on, copy Dropbox link. Now go back to your Minecraft server folder, and open up the server properties file with text edit. Find the line where it says, resource pack, and paste in the link that you just copied. At the end of the link it says D, L, equals 0. Change this to 1. This has the effect, that the resource pack gets downloaded automatically when your friends join in your server. There is one more thing that we need to do for this resource pack to work on your server. For that, open up your web browser again and search for online MD5. Click on the first link of the search result or if you can't find the same website, then just click on the link in my description. All you have to do is to drag the resource pack file into the field and select, S, H, A, 1. Copy the code that it generates for you. Now go back to your server.properties file and find the line where it says resource pack S, H, A, 1 and paste the generated code into it. After that you can save the server properties and close it. Before I show you, how your friends can join you, let me teach you how to get any custom Minecraft world you want on your server. In this example I'm going to download the world from the YouTuber called The Mythical Sausage.
Since I already downloaded the world, I will navigate to my downloads folder right away. Usually the world is compressed inside a zip folder. Double click to unpack the folder, and then rename it to world. When you are done with this, then copy and paste or drag and drop the world into your Minecraft server folder. Press on replace to change the Minecraft world. If you have played on the world already and want to keep it, then press cancel and back your old world up before replacing it with the new one. Now let's start up the server again and see if everything works as it should. When you join your server the first time without the resource pack installed, it will ask you if it should download it automatically for you. Click on yes to see the result. As you can see everything is working fine for me. The resource pack and the new world seem to work perfectly without any problems. Now onto the last and most important step. To get your friends to join your server, they first have to join your network on Hamachi. Just tell them your unique network ID and password that you chose to create your network. And again recommend you to only play with family members or your closest friends that you can trust. Since you grant them access to your network and this should not get into the wrong hands. After they joined your network, they only need to right click on your username, and copy the IPv4 address, and paste it into the server address on Minecraft. This last step works for Windows and Mac users. Yes, this means you can play with all of your friends. You can all cross play together. In these times it's important to stay at home while the virus is outside, but that should not stop us from communicating and playing with our friends. I put all my effort and time into this tutorial to make it as easy and understandable as possible. I really hope that everything will work out for you and your friends, and if not, then don't hesitate to ask questions. Just let me know where you got stuck and I will do my best to help you with it. If this video helped you out and made it possible to play with your friends, then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel, so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. I also want to thank all of my subscribers for reaching over 100 subs. I am very happy and can't thank you enough. Stay safe guys.